Welcome to Worley Bell. My name is Bailey. I'll be your referee. I'm also here promoting our leagues. We promote our leagues with a free 30-minute demo game. If you'd like to schedule a demo game, please leave your name and number at the front counter. Uh, for those of you who've never played before, the idea of the game is to outscore the other team within the time limit. If you're in a red car, you shoot for the red backboard. Yellow cars go for the yellow backboard. After you score, it's a possession change. The other team gets the ball. If you interfere during a possession change by knocking the ball in the corner, throwing it down the court away from the team, or taking another shot when you're not supposed to, that result in a one point delay of game penalty. The penalty points, those are rewarded to the other team instead of deducted. So when you commit a penalty, you're given the points away. Uh, it's an eight point penalty if you take your seatbelt off. It's anywhere from two to eight points for a back ram that's in the nose of your car to run in the back of an opponent. You cannot hit the back of the cars. This is judged with severe. If a hit, even a bump, is going to be a two point penalty. Has to be or faster in the back of the car is going to be four to eight points. However, you are allowed to T bone each other in the walls. Head on collisions are okay as long as they're not full force. It's a four point penalty if you crush your scoop. This is crushed between two cars or between your car and the wall, down here by your bumper. This is a danger zone. If you leave your scoop down here, it will get crushed. If your scoop happens to get crushed and broken, it's a four point penalty and a five dollar repair charge for each and every broken scoop. Remind yourselves of the five dollar charge and your scoop goes in there automatically. If you leave it down here, it's gonna get crushed. If you get lower, it's your hand that's crushed. So please remove your hands and our scoops from the danger zone. The fastest way to get the ball is using the side of the scoop. Get the top of the side of the bumper, scoop the ball up towards the ceiling. If the ball's on the opposite side of the car, you're gonna wanna switch hands. This is the fast way to get the ball. This is the slowest way. If it's outside the car this way, you're leaving your back open for an injury and you're gonna be struggling for possession. All right, I'll tell you to switch hands. You're probably not gonna listen to me, so you're gonna have to remind yourself to switch hands. Take it to the side of the car and scoop it up towards the ceiling. It's a two point penalty if you use your scoop as a weapon. There is no scoop to scoop, scoop to person, or scoop to car contact. You're not allowed to slap the ball from a player's scoop. You're not allowed to hit them before they shoot. You're not allowed to beat the car. It's not a form of defense. You use your scoop to intercept passes and block shots. When somebody takes the scoop and covers the ball, this is a possession. This is my ball. Don't steal it from me and don't chop off my wrist. It's a two-point penalty if you touch the ball outside of your car. Do not catch the ball in the air, pick the ball up off the floor. The only time you're allowed to touch the ball if it lands inside of your car, in your lap, at your side, or if the ball gets stuck in the scoop. Sometimes it happens, don't shake it. Take time, fix it. Pretty simple. When the ball is crushed during the game, it'll happen. You get a crushed ball, you're not allowed to pick up with your hand. You have to use your scoop. So you're gonna scoop the ball up, take it out of the scoop, and then fix the ball. This is all of our body strength. Put it back in the scoop, continue to play. And then finally, driving, you have a steering column facing towards your lap to drive the car forward. Turn to the left, now your car is gonna be going right. Turn to the right, now your car is gonna be going left. If that sounds confusing, imagine an arrow at the top of the steering column to point the direction you're driving. To go in reverse, you're gonna take the steering column from your lap, one full circle, but it's a car in reverse. And another full rotation, doesn't matter which way you turn it, will bring your car back forward again. That's one time around. If you decide you're only going halfway with a steering column, you'll be the person on the court doing circles. Don't be that person. Remember, it's facing towards your lap. Pedal on your right is an acceleration pedal. You press that down to go. You take your foot off the acceleration pedal to slow down to a stop. Make sure your foot is off the pedal before hitting the wall at full speed. If you hit the wall at full speed, you could hit the steering column at full speed and you're guaranteed bruises. Where the ball is a sporting activity, like all sports, there's an element of risk. So you play at your own risk, we ask you not to play. And if you have any loose things in your pockets, you don't want to lose or break any cell phones, personal belongings, you can put them in the corner of the court during your games.